Hey everyone, welcome back to the Cooking Everything Outdoors show, where today we're making Dutch oven tri-tip my way, of course. So to get this started, we're going to need a few items. You're going to need a 12 inch or 14 inch Dutch oven. It can be a standard size, does not have to be a deep. And charcoal, of course. You're going to need a tri-tip roast. Mine's about three pounds trimmed. Canola oil. I'm using Santa Maria grill seasoning from Oak Ridge Barbecue. This stuff is killer. It's very uh, true to its origins of Santa Maria tri-tip. It's absolutely fantastic. And then I have a large onion sliced in half rings. So my technique for doing this, because, you know, frankly, we're not grilling this over mesquite, which is traditional. I took my tri-tip and I finished trimming it up. It's un it is trimmed. I bought it untrimmed, so I had to do a little cleanup. And then I took my Oak Ridge Barbecue Santa Maria rub and I applied it all over the surface very liberally. And then what I did is I put it on a rack. So I suspended it so I had air circulation. Then I put it in the refrigerator overnight. So it's been in there probably about 14 hours or so. And what that does is it's allowed the surface to dry out really, really well. Uh, you could probably leave it in there for as much as 24, maybe even 48 hours. And we're doing a little bit of dry aging there. And this technique works really, really good because we don't want a wet tri-tip going into our Dutch oven. Okay, so the charcoal is ready. I'm going to load up the bottom of my table with charcoal and then put the Dutch oven on it because I want to sear my tri-tip first. So my Dutch oven is pretty hot right now. I'm going to add some oil and then we'll start searing the tri-tip. So now that I have my tri-tip browned on two sides, I'm going to pull it and then I'm going to layer the bottom of the Dutch oven with my onions. Now we need to redistribute the heat as if we're going to be baking or roasting. I have my bed of onions layered down there, and now I'm going to put my tri-tip on it. That's it. It's covered up. Hey, so while I'm over there cooking very strenuously, I wanted to go over Dutch oven charcoal quantities to use in a Dutch oven. But in this particular case, I'm using a 12 inch Dutch oven. So that means I'm gonna be using about 24 charcoal briquettes. Now mind you, I didn't count, but um, I did put about um, 20 on the bottom to sear my tri-tip. And then I put about nine on the bottom and about 15 or so on top, probably maybe a couple more than that, might even be 17, not really counting. I just put a um, a rim around the top and these charcoals are somewhat spent already and that's all I did and I may have to add more charcoal to the top as it goes well my temperature probe just hit 145 uh. now I want to place it on my rack and then I'm going to tint and foil it for several minutes. The time of a truth, and let's see how we did. Okay. So we have somewhat of a fairly dry crust. This is the way I like to do my tri-tip. So let's cut into this. Uh, a little difficult to figure out the grain pattern. I think I've got it going this way and then probably going that way. So I'm going to do somewhat of a traditional and I'm going to 
find the midpoint here and just give that a cut in half. And yep, look at that. So medium rare tri-tip, nice, almost looks like a smoke ring all the way around. Um, turned out really, really good. You gotta make sure you cut it the correct way. You cut it across the grain. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but the grain's running this way. That makes it more tender. Yeah, very happy with that. Let's give this a try. Always got to give it a try. Very close to grilled tri-tip. I mean, yeah, it's missing the char. All right, I'm getting a little piggy. I want to try it with a little bit of the onion. Come the flies. Yeah, really good. Okay, but there you have it. Dutch oven tri-tip my way. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It makes all the difference in the world. It keeps me motivated to make more videos, and I promise I have more coming. So until next time, I will see you when I see you.